Hey everyone, today I'm sketching around East Coast Road. This is one of the older neighborhoods in Singapore. So as the name of the road suggests, this road behind me actually runs along the coast of old Singapore. More specifically, this road runs along the southeast coastline. And as you can see, the buildings here are quite short. You don't see many of the high-rise public housing here. Now, this building is quite new, but the building on the right side is quite old. So this is the road that is the old road. And if you take a look here down this road, this is facing the south and behind that tall building there is actually the beachfront. So those tall buildings there are actually built on reclaimed land. So this place is interesting in the sense that along this road, all the buildings are going to be quite short. However, on the reclaimed land there, the buildings are going to be tall. There are going to be a lot of condominiums and towards the city area, those buildings are going to be tall as well. There are a lot of public housing. So it's just along this old road that there are old houses. Let's walk along this road to see if we can find any clues to suggest that this area used to be along the coastline. There are actually a lot of beautiful places and buildings to sketch along this road. Down this small side road are some interesting houses. These colorful houses here are raised off the ground to guard against the rising tide. So these houses are quite close to the beach front. Here in Singapore, we don't find houses like this except near the coastline. And these are very old houses. The design on the front of the houses looks really nice. See this? There are some geometric designs as well. I wonder if they have basement. Probably not. Probably not because this is near the coastline. This is the view that I'm going to sketch and I'm going to draw a few houses here. This is a good view because we can see the designs on the front and also the windows. The side wall here is compressed and we don't need to pay too much attention to that because there isn't anything on the side wall except for one tiny window and this is a side alley, a back alley. Unfortunately, it has started to rain and I'm not under any shelter so I won't be able to continue with the sketch. So maybe I should find another location to sketch. So now I'm at I12 Katong Shopping Mall and this place where I'm standing is a pretty good spot. This is the view that I can sketch. There is some construction going on on the left side which is problematic. There is always construction going on somewhere place so this um, looks nice I like this building too bad we cannot include the shop house on the left side which looks really beautiful so this is the sketch that I did not manage to complete I shall just leave it as it is so it's probably good to check the weather forecast first before you head out to sketch and also for a white scene like this, it would be good to look for pages where you can draw across easily. For example, these two pages, there is no gap between the two pages. Whereas for these two pages, you can see there's this huge gap here.
this is Galvin who saw me sketching outside of the shopping mall. He is actually managing these paintings which are on display inside this shopping mall. That's right. Yeah, so we are taking a look at all the paintings and I'll have him maybe introduce some artists and also the paintings or the works that are on display. Yeah, so this is actually a partnership with the I want to Padong Mall. The works here are permanent, meaning that we'll change the exhibition is permanent and we'll change the works every month. So this is actually a very iconic bakery that is across the road from the mall. And what's very interesting is that the artist Erica Wee, she is a Singaporean who lives in KL. So painting scenes from Singapore from her childhood is a way of reconnecting with Singapore. And um, she used to actually stand right in front of this bakery to wait for the bus to go to school every day. And her family would buy the fresh bread from this bakery also. So the scenes are very deeply etched in her memory and it's very really well loved by all the residents of Katong. There are actually two areas for the exhibition. One is at the ground floor. Ground floor outside one connection. Mm, and this is the... Second floor. It's called the pork pallet area. Because in the future, there will be other tenants here also. Like. Oh, okay. Uh, so for now, we get to enjoy the whole space. Okay, this place is more quiet and more pleasant. Yeah. So these are the artworks, the paintings on display. And this area is actually much bigger and the lighting is definitely better. This is actually one of the most popular uh, canvas reproductions oh. or prints. And it's popular because it's quite small and can fit so many places in the home. But something quite cute like, is that we've had two buyers who bought it so far because they have a family of five. So father, mother and three children. Oh, okay. Yeah, and that represents their family. Yeah, it's done by a non-Chinese artist okay. who lives in Singapore called Swasti. I've got to say that this shopping mall is quite beautiful because it's just been renovated. Not all the shops or the tenants are in yet. So now I'm at the intersection of East Coast Road and Joo Chet Road. And this place is really lively. There are a lot of shops, bars and restaurants around. This is the building I was sketching earlier and on the ground floor is this bakery and cafe. So that's the shopping mall that I was sketching at and now I'm heading to buy dinner. So the sketches that I've drawn today, um, I wasn't that satisfied. Hopefully dinner is better. <laughs> oh, uh, it looks like it's closed at 4 p.m. So it looks like today is not my day, so I'm going to go buy dinner somewhere else. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.